Good morning, and welcome to Your Daily Five. I'm Greg Harmon, president of uh, Dragonfly Capital. At Dragonfly Capital, we manage uh, separate accounts for clients uh, using technical analysis and an option, options overlay to uh, manage your money. And for those clients that uh, prefer to manage their own money, we also uh, uh, sell a newsletter that uh, gives you uh, detailed information about uh, our picks for the week. Today, I wanted to talk about something that's been driving the markets for the uh, entire year, 2020, uh, but has been slow down over the last two to three months. And that's something called the, the FANGS stocks. So today, we're gonna discuss, are the FANGS ready to bite again? The FANGs are the market leaders, the tech stocks that have been driving us higher. And I want to start today with uh, one of them that uh, has been the leader in the past and is looking like it may become a leader again very shortly, and that's Netflix. Netflix, you can see here for 2020, had uh, a, a nice ride up until the, the, the March pandemic uh, fallback that uh, all stocks took, and then continued up into July and stopped stopped moving higher in July, a lot sooner than uh, most of the other stocks did. Netflix, you can see, as I've highlighted here, has been bouncing in this range between about 470 and about 570 since July. What's happened recently, though, is what makes me uh, look at it from a different perspective as a potential opportunity going into uh, the end of this year and into early 2021. Uh, we all know that this long base as us traders say, the longer the base, the higher into space the stock price can go. Uh, but we see here from the gap down in October that uh, it's been holding underneath uh, resistance at about the middle of that range until this week. And this week, it started pushing back over that range. We also see the Bollinger Bands had uh, squeezed and are now starting to turn up. Uh, Momentum is picking up on both the RSI and the MACD. Uh, this looks like a stock that could be ready to go at least up to the top of the range at 570, if not higher. So that's the first one I wanted to talk about, one that's already moving. The second is Facebook. Facebook, you can see, waited until uh, September to start consolidating. So it had a much longer run than uh, Netflix did. Uh, but since that time has been building a symmetrical triangle uh, centered around uh, about 280. Um, it's been uh, rising against the support here at the 100-day uh, moving average and is tight against that now. If the risk of the fangs take off, I'm looking at Facebook to try and move up out of this uh, symmetrical triangle as well. Now, like everything technical analysis, we need confirmation. We need to move up here above the triangle uh, to be uh, a, a trigger to uh, get into the trade. But then we've got uh, a price range on the triangle from about 245 to about uh, 305, so about $60, uh, and a $60 move for a target out of a, a break at around 290 would be a move up to about 350. Well, with worth your time to take a look at, should this uh, be pulled up with the rest of the FANG stocks. As we progress through some of these, we start to see that uh, some of them are starting to, uh, to look a little better than others. And Amazon is another one of them. Amazon waited until September as well to start consolidating and has been consolidating in the same symmetrical triangle type pattern. The triangle for Amazon between 2,900 and 3,550, so about $650, and closing in on a break uh, or a potential break at around 3,300. So a break above the triangle there would have us looking at something around a, a target around $4,000 for the stock. Uh, momentum has been flat, but it's starting to pick up on both the MACD and the RSI, 
Bollinger bands are tight. Bollinger bands getting tight is often a precursor to a big move in a stock. So we've got that long base here from uh, July all the way out. Uh, and a move up to 4,000 would be a, a nice way to start 2021. Microsoft pressing against the uh, symmetrical triangle that it's created since September. This one, you can see the Bollinger Bands right on the edge here had gotten tight and now they're starting to open. That's the signal that uh, the, the move is starting to, to happen. It's pressing against the top of this uh, triangle the triangle here on Microsoft being from about a little over 230 down to 195, so about a $35 move. $35 on top of 220 is a 255 target on a move out of this. Also a nice start to the year if we were to, uh, to continue to move higher. The last one is a little bit different. Apple. Apple had moved up from that March low to the peak in September like all the rest of them. Uh, but the consolidation for Apple has not been a symmetrical triangle, but rather an ascending triangle. And the move out here, we've got one touch, two touch, three touch, four touch, and moving over to the top. Breaking out now. Apple's making relative, relative new highs already today. This is one you should have already triggered and should have already bought on the, the move uh, back here. These, these charts are as of uh, the close of business Wednesday. So this is a, a Tuesday trigger to get into Apple moving higher. The, uh, the target price for Apple here, we've got one, about 102.50 uh, at the bottom of the triangle, 125 at the top. So about a $22 move up on top of 125 is about 147.50. 147.50 would be a new all-time high in Apple. So what do you think? Are the FANG stocks ready to uh, carry us higher again? Lots of news about them. Lots of uh, concern about antitrust. Yet they're not breaking down. And the economy is now starting to pick up. The broad picture is starting to look better. Uh, the Atlanta Fed yesterday revised their fourth quarter GDP figure to 11% growth and now over 4% for all of 2021. So who's gonna lead us higher? My bet is that the fangs are gonna take the lead. That's your daily five. Thanks for watching. Hey, Grayson Rhodes here with Stock Charts. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, consider giving it a like down below, maybe leave us a comment. And if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe at the link up above. We're gonna bring you daily content from an incredible collection of technical analysts and financial experts.